Hi team, how's it going? If your telephony provider does not support Elastic SIP trunking, does that mean that you cannot connect your phone number with a Redel phone bot? Thankfully, that's not true. In fact, if you head over to the documentation page on Redel's website, you get to see this title called Method 2, Dial to SIP Endpoint. And it actually gives you a very detailed step-by-step -step guide on what needs to be done to set up non-elastic SIP trunking. In this video, I'm just going to quickly walk you through some of these steps so that you can also set up your custom phone number with a non-elastic SIP trunk. The main thing that you've got to notice is this paragraph over here which says, for retail to know what agent needs to handle your call, and for you to obtain an SIP endpoint, you must hit the register phone call API. Now, imagine this to be a, a, a phone call API which gives you a call ID response. And that's the main thing, because that's what you will be using inside the SIP endpoint to be able to piece together the, the actual endpoint that you want to dial. If you slide down further, you get to see some example code that Retail's team has prepared for you. I've just gone ahead and adapted this code and prepared a little bit of an adaptation of this on Replit. Let me quickly walk you through some of this code. As you can see, this is just 50 lines of code. Over on the top, I have an import statement which uses a library called Twilio Markup Language. And I also have um, an another import statement which makes sure that I import retail. Very simple code, I'm just gonna walk you through it. First up, go ahead and create a retail a client, pass in the API key. If you're wondering where do I get this API key, just head over to your retail dashboard, click on the API section on the left menu, and then copy over this API key over to your replit. Once you've created the retail client, you need to focus on this endpoint called voice webhook. Now, voice webhook is the main piece of code. Think of it as this piece of code that gets executed every time you get an incoming phone call on Twilio. Um, the main piece is this function over here, which is register phone call. The first thing you need to give this function is the agent ID. Again, if you're wondering where do I get this agent ID from, head over to your retail dashboard, click on agents on the list. I have this agent called AI teacher. On the top left, I can see this agent ID hidden. So just copy this over and bring it over to your replit and paste it. Now, the next two parameters are from number and to number. Now, these are handled by Twilio's markup language for you. So you don't need to worry too much about them. You can get it from the request body that comes your way from Twilio. The next piece of parameter that you need to think of is this parameter called direction. Now, if you look at the custom telephony documentation, it talks about how all traffic looks like inbound to Redel if you're trying to set up a non-elastic SIP truck. So it's up to you to decide whether this direction has to be classified as inbound or whether you need to label this as outbound. Because if you try and label everything as inbound, it's probably going to mess up your analytics. Awesome. So let's get back to our code. As soon as the phone call response comes our way, think of it as a response that comes back after we call register phone call. This is going to give you a call ID. Make sure you save this in a, in a variable as I have, because this is something that you will have to pass in along with the SIP endpoint later on in the code. The next thing we do is we create a voice response object. Remember, the voice response is the exact library that we imported from Twilio's markup language. And then there is an innate function over here, which is dot dial. Every time you call this function, you can pass in a parameter um, like SIP. And if you're wondering where do I get this address from, just head over back to the custom telephony documentation page and you can see the exact address over here. So all I've done is just simply copy this address over to my replit and paste it over here inside the dial um, object. So now that I'm dialing the SIP endpoint using the call ID, retail will take care of the rest of rest of it and the call is going to get initiated and handled by the agent ID that I passed in. Apart from that, um, the code is pretty much simple, just handles the closure of everything that was opened up on the top. Once you have this 50 line code in your replit, just press on this run button on the top. As soon as the run button gets pressed, you will get this green link over here. Copy this green link and head over to your Twilio. Inside Twilio, click on the phone number section open up this drop-down menu called Manage and find the tab which says Active Numbers. Once you click on Active Numbers, you will have a few options. On the top, select the second option called Configure and slide down. When you slide down, you get to see another menu. 
Over on the left, you see a title called A Call Comes In. Make sure you have webhook selected on your dropdown. And in the URL section, go ahead and paste this replit link. After you paste the replit link, it's going to end in a forward slash. We still have to give it the exact endpoint that needs to be called. To find out the name of the exact endpoint, head back to your code on replit, slide up on the top and find this thing called voice webhook. That's the name of your endpoint. Just copy this over onto your Twilio and paste it right after the URL that you had pasted earlier. Now that this is in place, head over to the bottom and click on save. In my case, I've already clicked on save. So this thing is already saved. And that's the phone number that you can call to be able to verify that the system has been set up correctly. So yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the steps that you need to take care of in order to set up a non-elastic endpoint. Make sure you have a phone number bought on Twilio and the exact link that you have from Replit pasted along with the voice webhook. Um, and as always, if you have any doubts, just put those in comments below and we'll be able to get back to you.